Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make themes for Summerboard to customize your iPhone. Alright, first thing you need to do is go to settings and go ahead and set, uh, go to general and set auto lock to never because when you're SSHing in your iPhone you don't want it to uh, be turning off while you're SSHing into it because it can mess it up and you can set that back to one minute or two minutes however many you want it when you're done with this alright go to installer install and this is if you don't have some reward installed go to all packages I'm just gonna go to uninstall because I've already got it installed alright and it's called summer board the latest version is 3.2 okay just hit over on it then go to install and hit install alright Okay, if you want to, you can. In, if you're not wanting to mess up the themes that come with Summer Board, if you like them and want to keep them, um, you can download another theme from the. Go to install and then go down to theme Summer Board. I went to toys. Go to theme Summer Board, and you can install a theme from there if you use. But I would use that Louis Mineta thing to. to you can copy it and just use it and make another make icons and everything out of it because it's got the icons folder and everything okay now we're gonna go to the computer but you have to do this you have to have open ssh and bsd subsystem installed if you don't know how to open ssh into your iphone i'll have a link in the description to my tutorial on it okay now we're gonna go to the computer okay now what you need to do is Open up Qt FTP or WinSDP, whichever one you use. <laughs> okay. Now I'll go ahead and just do this, even though I've got it. All right, just like if you don't know how to do this right here, just watch my tutorial. I'll have it in the description. You just got to fill out this form and type in your IP address. You can get that from going to Wi-Fi on your the Wi-Fi on your computer and hit the little blue arrow. And it will tell you the your uh, IP address. Username is root and the password is Alpine. A L P I N E. And then connect. Oops, I didn't have my iPhone turned on. For a second. Okay. There we go. All right. Then you go to. It should you start should start out in private var root. Okay. Go all the way up. Okay, if you're on, if you have a firmware 1.1.2 or 1.1.1, you got to go to var. You got to go to var. Root, library, summer board, and then themes. Okay, if you're on 1.1.3, you have to or 1.1.4. Go all the way up. Go to var, mobile, library. Summer board themes, and then there you go. So just navigate here, and then you should see all your all of your themes that you have on uh, summer board. All right, I'm gonna drag. You're gonna click Louis Mineta if you still have that one in there, or either download the theme that has icons and everything if you want customized icons. So I'll drag. I'm telling you to drag the Louis Mineta because it's got icons and everything. So just drag and drop it. Okay, it will take a second. All right, now it's done. Just refresh this, or not? You don't have to refresh it. Just minimize it. Sorry. Okay, now we'll go to your desktop where you extract or where you dragged it to, and open it up. And then there's all your stuff right there. There's your wallpaper, your status bar, your mini dock. I don't know what that is. It might be the thing, the bottom of the dock. I don't know. And then the dock. And then here's your icons folder, and you can add more to this if you want to, and uh, but you just gotta name it whatever the name of the app is. And to edit them, you right click, go to edit. Or actually, no, don't go to edit. Go to right click, and then go to open with, and then choose program, and choose paint. That's the easiest one to edit with. You can zoom in on it to edit it. I'll just 
do it really quick. I'll just color it black just to show you. And then you click file and save. And then you close it. You can do this with all the icons. And then just close it out when you're done editing everything. And then open up Qt FTP, open it back up, and drag and drop the. You gotta rename it though from the Louis Banana. Name it whatever you want your thing to be. I'll just name it Blah. Okay. And then drag and drop it into your themes folder. Take a minute. Okay, and then it'll be done. Then refresh. And then there it is. Blah. Alright, now we're gonna go to the iPhone or iPod Touch. Okay, now you can, uh, unplug your phone or touch if you had it plugged up and just turn it like lock it okay and then slide to unlock and if the theme doesn't show up under some reward just turn off your phone and then turn it back on it will show up okay go over go or wherever you have some reward installed go to theme and there's my theme right there if you can read it, blah. There it is. I can just I can turn the wallpaper off or everything if I want to. I'll just hit home. It will refresh. Slide down lock. <laughs> I forgot to change the icons back. See how them the hang on a second. See how those are like really big and they actually work too. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna keep my thing like that. I do like that little red bar though. In the blue background. That's pretty nice. Where's the icons I changed? I don't remember. Okay, I must not change the icon that I had. But that's how to make a summer board theme. And if your themes uh are not showing up, go to installer. <laughs> don't go to the pink logo or code, but go to installer. And then install. Oh, let's see, what is it called? I don't think I have it installed. Okay, go install all packages and then go to let's see. I think it's in the S's. Be there in a couple years. kind of freezing a little bit okay it's called uh, SMB theme fix it says it fixes a theme issue on 1.1.3 or 1.1.4 iPhone okay and there may be another one for to fix the themes not showing up, you can install that if you want to. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. And if you have any more questions or comments or anything, just leave a comment below.